everyone. Uh, I'm Annie Everall from Authors Aloud and welcome to our Authors Aloud UK Festive Wishes, where some of our wonderful authors and illustrators um, will be telling you about the book they want to see under their Christmas tree or their favourite Christmas book of the year. Hope we give you lots of reading ideas. Merry Christmas. Hello, my name is Helen Dennis, and I'm very excited about Christmas, and I'm very excited about Christmas reading. My favourite Christmas books are Nikolai of the North, which is wonderful, all about Father Christmas as a young child. And then, this one's very exciting, this is called When Santa Fell to Earth. This is a fabulous book about when Father Christmas is all grown up and things go disastrously wrong. And two very brave children have to help Santa save Christmas. Both of these books are full of snow and elves and adventure and magic. And my wish for you is that you all have a wonderful, magical Christmas. So happy Christmas, everyone. Thank you. Festive greetings. I'm Steve Tussain. I'm the author of this lovely book here, Child Eye, about how playing and eating together can get us through the worst circumstances, which in some ways, is what Christmas is all about. And the best book that was put under my tree is this wonderful, wonderful book here, The Moomin Anthology. And it's one of those books that you just love to have. It comes in this lovely casing like this. It also has the front cover of the book inside it. It's a beautiful Moomin poster there. And... Inside this glorious edition is uh, some wonderful full-sized, full-colour paintings from the Moomin books, which are just simply stunning and can give you hours of pleasure. Look at that. And then, for your delight, what we have is hundreds of pages of all of the Moomin strips. So if you get this for Christmas, that's all you'll be doing. You'll just have your head in this book all the way through until New Year because books and Christmas are the most brilliant thing that come together ever. Have a wonderful time. Hello, everyone, and happy Christmas. My name is Holly Webb, and I wanted to tell you about my favourite Christmas book, which is... The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. I've got an enormous copy of all the Narnia books here. I love the one, Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. It's one of my absolute favourite books. I love the way that C.S. Lewis writes about animals and people, especially talking animals. And I know that the talking animals in the Narnia books had a huge effect on the books that I've written. The other thing that I really love about this book is just the sense of winter and snow and cold and that almost the, the winter in the, in the line the witch and the wardrobe is almost a character in itself and I love the idea of reading it when it's really really cold. The only thing that's a little bit strange is that um, the white witch in the line the witch and the wardrobe uh, keeps feeding one of the children on Turkish Delight. So you'd think that I would think that Turkish Delight is quite a scary thing, but I absolutely love Turkish Delight and reading The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe with Turkish Delight would be even better. So have a wonderful Christmas, everyone. Bye. Hello, or should I say good day? Um, it's Justin Songpa and I am coming to you from Perth in Western Australia. And as if to prove the point, here is my newest Christmas decoration, which will be having pride of place on our mantelpiece, I think, because it feels a little bit weighty to put on the tree. Um, so I just wanted to pop in and wish everybody uh, a really Merry Christmas and a Happy Hanukkah. Um, and also, I guess most of all, a really peaceful and joyful 2024. Let's hope for a really wonderful and different year for all of us. Um, now, I was asked to uh, address a key question, which was, what book would I be hoping to find under the tree on uh, Christmas Day? Uh, and my answer is, it's whichever book my good mate Anita has sent me. Um, because for the past few years, we've been doing Yola Boca Flod, uh, which I'm sure a number of you will be familiar with, the Icelandic book tradition 
uh, where you give a book and some chocolate uh, on Christmas Eve. So this has been a really lovely tradition um, that Anita and I have been doing um, for a few years now. Uh, and in, I guess in some ways it's a bit more special uh, now that I'm based for the moment out here in Australia um, and she's in London. So we are sending books and chocolate back and forth across the oceans. Last year, she sent me lessons in chemistry, which was a really uh, good choice. And I gave her tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow, which I gather she liked. And because she is more efficient than me, I actually have the book uh, that will be going under the tree or on the mantle or thereabouts um, sometime mm -hmm. over the festive period. But I, of course, am woefully late with my posting. So she will probably be getting her Christmas book for Valentine's Day. Um, so there we are. Um, once again, a really Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah and a joyful New Year. Lots of love from WA. Oh, hello. I'm Izzy Lawrence. You can see my name written there, Izzy Lawrence. Um, and I have a favourite Christmas book. My favourite Christmas book isn't The Snowman. No, it is the bear by the same dude raymond briggs because what is more christmassy than a polar bear polar bears are way better than like snowmen they've got more teeth for a start it is an absolutely beautiful book and it is massive christmas should be about big books this is a big book so go get this one if you don't have this one doesn't matter have a very very merry christmas anyway i've been izzy lawrence and continue <laughs>